welcome for this session entitled A Systematic Approach to Steady Startup, Improving Site Activation. Our goal is today to understand the process necessary to get the investigational drug or device study appropriately started at the site. In overview, we will look at some administrative and financial aspects of clinical trials, such as budgets, negotiating budgets, clinical trial agreements, financial disclosures, how to conduct investigators, meet and collect and track and file all required essential regulatory documentation at startup. We will also pay attention to some processes and documents that's needed during their development process, such as clinical development plan, study protocol, investigators brochure, and case report forms. And we will conclude this session by reviewing a case study based on the research we conducted at Boston Medical Center, which I would like to share with you, and I hope you would find it useful and practical for somewhat basic review of the startup processes at the site. I believe this practical knowledge would be useful. So our learning objectives. After participating in this discussion, you should be able to list the reasons for creating clinical development plan, describe activities that are necessary to plan and execute startup phase of clinical trials, explain the purpose of financial disclosures, understand the regulatory process behind the startup, review all necessary documentation, and get ready to begin your clinical trial. So in overview, life cycle of a clinical trial consists of conceptual phase, which includes protocol synopsis, which should be finalized at this stage. Schedule of activities needs to be finalized. And essentially, you're getting ready to grant the award or the contract to participate in sites. The next phase is referred to commonly as planning phase, where you have full-fledged protocol developed, not just synopsis, you will have informed consent finalized as a template. You'll select your sites, prepare a manual of operations, complete your case report forms, get IRB approvals done through the centralized IRB or the local IRB, establish all your subcontracts and the payment schedules, finalize all your contracts and agreements, establish data safety monitoring boards if required, build your database, and finalize your study or drug or device packaging and labeling. So at this point, you'll conduct investigator meeting to train all participating sites in a sort of standardized, centralized fashion. You'll make sure all your vendors are present at that event. And at that point, you'll cross over to implementation phase, at which you will have several activities conducted. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to get too descriptive in this because we're focused more on the planning or startup phase. But an overview, so I just like to walk you through the entire life cycle so you can place activities of the startup or planning phase in the perspective of what else has to be done in the clinical trial throughout the life cycle. So it is always important to emphasize that also current regulatory requirements, if it is an applicable clinical trial, call for the sponsor, if sponsor is responsible party who holds IND, or if it's investigator-initiated research, and investigator holds an IND, and it is in fact applicable clinical trial, that this study needs to be registered according to current regulations on clinicaltrials.gov at the planning phase and subsequently after analysis of the study is completed and the report is sent to the FDA, the results needs to be posted as well on the clinicaltrials.gov. And we will talk about the specific requirements later on in the presentation. So this life cycle of the clinical trial is applicable for many therapeutic classes and pretty much for any phase of the clinical trial. So in a nutshell, this is what it consists of in terms of activities by each specific phase. And the focus of today's presentation is on planning or the startup phase. So in summary, this is what's ahead in this presentation and that's what we will cover. So that's the second column on this slide. 